<laughs> Clap <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Johan Barilly here, and we are back for a new episode of Into the Yard. It's been a long time, but this year, 2021, I wanted to introduce you. Alex is right there behind you, so we're gonna, we're gonna do Hi. that. <laughs> and Alex is gonna film every episode of Into the Yard, and this year the goal is to have one episode dropping every month. Today we are on Weso. Weso is a double black diamond trail. There is Weso on this side. This way is Highway to Hell. The buff trail kind of join in the middle. Super interesting trail. Lot of different line choice. Let's go. So we start on Weso, Rock Slab. The rock slabs in Squamish are super grippy. So when it's wet, don't be, uh, don't be shy. They're actually more grippy in the wet sometimes than in the dry in the middle of summer. In the summer, there's a lot of dust on top of it. They are really slippery. In the winter, they are all clean. Be careful if it's icy or not, but today it's actually pretty warm. February, uh, February what, 5th? 6th? 5th or 6th. 6th, 5th or 6th. 5th or 6th. And it's a beautiful day today. Little line on the right over there with a rat. We are not going to take this one. We're going to stay on the main line right here. Half camber. When you are on this kind of rock, when you start this trail, just like test the grip, you know, bounce a little bit on your bike, grab your brakes a little bit, test the traction to get used to it, get comfortable. And then you start to roll here and we're going to get into the, the more like technical steeper stuff. Whoop! Right there. Line on the right, line on the left. If you take the left line, You kind of have to be careful on these roots here. But then you come here and you kind of pretty set up a little bit more outside. It's going to make you more in a way to open the left ender over there. We're going to go check it out. <laughs> Moss, very, uh, very slippery. Little kind of wet, wet log in the middle here. This is actually kind of tricky when you look at it from here. It's really steep, but again, we will see The traction is pretty good. I'm going to take it really slow for the first time just to show you how good the traction is right here. We can see this zone right here. So very tricky here. The outside kind of brings you super, super far, kind of really low and it goes up. So we are not going to touch the outside line and we are going to stay on the left hand side, the left, uh, left hand side, the corner. So and we can carry speed on the exit. I think on the outside, we can actually come a little bit faster, maybe Up that log here, poop, set ourselves here, go down here, and then take that little thing right there. So we want to put our wheels like right too far. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be a good uh, basketball player. Well, a little bit more on the left. <laughs> But we're gonna try buff line, and we will uh, we will see what's what's the best. Let's go back up. <laughs> So beautiful. So beautiful. So when you start, make sure you have a strong gear all the time because you don't want to end up like on top of something with no speed and you have to put like an emer emergency pedal stroke and you're going to get stuck. If you have an easy gear, it's not going to, nothing's going to happen and you're going to be screwed. So strong gear all the time when you ride. And then here, as I said, just try the, try the traction. You know, you grab your brakes, neutral position, you relax, up, and then you check a little bit the traction on the on the rock here and as you can see lot of traction so i'm on the top here i'm gonna take the outside and again you know first try we haven't warmed up yet so we go really slow and then we kind of check it out look a little bit at everything we're gonna turn here whoop, whoop, little nose turning and then we're gonna come down here down here up set ourselves pretty wide and then we'll take here and there we go Very chill. <laughs> so today, eh? it's very dangerous on foot. <laughs> Motro City. We go, we are back at the top. We're gonna take the inside now. And I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster. Come here. Again, see, I'm kind of slowing down at the top here. I'm gonna take the outside. Up, I come here. Up, up. And then here, I release the brake. Up. Here goes. I'm gonna do the outside line now. Back at the top. A little bit faster, and even if I go a little bit faster, you'll see that some section I'm actually choosing to slow down. Here, slowing down here, and here it goes. On the same zone up there, I started to slow down a little bit, so I chose to actually slow down, slow my pace down, <laughs> and then looked at the exit, release the brakes, and then carry speed for the exit over there. So we're just gonna go to the next section. I'm just gonna uh, Alex picked up his uh, backpack. And I'm just gonna shred, meet Alex down there at the bottom. See you in a bit. Wow. 
Ah, pop, 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 little braking control here, up, little jump, braking here, look at the exit, Tac, and we go again. Yeah. Next section right here. And I think that this section is actually super good to introduce, there's a steep little roll over there, to introduce like really slowing down, releasing the brakes at the bottom, carry speed, and smoothing out that nasty compression at the bottom. We're gonna check that out. The things that we ride when we ride bikes are actually really sketchy. It's sketchy, we ride on cliffs and stuff like that, and there is no reason to make things sketchier than what they are. So the approach, again, super important. So slow at the top, almost come to a stop, as soon as the front wheels start to drop, I'm going to release the brakes, look at the exit, tack, smooth it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. We start here and I'm actually going to go pretty fast to show you that we can grab the brakes. So I'm grabbing the brakes, slowing down here, right on that. I almost come to a stop, the front wheels are going to start to drop, look at the exit, tack, done. Easy. Chest up and the compression didn't even exist. Perfect. My GoPro just died. No more battery. So uh, Alex is going to be even more busy uh, today. <laughs> He's going to film everything. This zone here. Huh? So we are in Squamish. Kind of the bottom part of Squamish. You know, the slabs. Goranga, Weso. That's uh, Captain, uh, Captain Remy Metaillé uh, zone here. So he's probably going to hear us. Ever! And he's going to come with his police hat and be like, Johan, you cannot do that. This is my drop. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> It would be actually funny if we see him. And I just discovered that we can actually jump from the top up there, the first step, and then land somewhere around here. And I don't think that he've done that before. This will be a first. World first. I'm gonna grab it by key! Yeah, yeah! Skip free. This bike is amazing. Like all the time I do something like that, it doesn't feel with anything with this bike. It's pretty incredible. So this is uh, one of Remy. Well, it's actually not Remy's thing. Here before, we can see some debris of like, I think there was like some sort of a ladder before. And that was, if I remember correctly, a drop, one of the first drops that Semenuk did. And he did a suicide on that. And I think that this drop, this photo, kind of started his career. I don't know if I'm really correct. Someone told me that, a trail builder. And then Remy, I think last year, actually jump from the top up there, up here, all the way down here. And so when I saw Remy did that in his video, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. So we're gonna do it today. Today, we're gonna do it. So for this one, we cannot, we cannot exit for here, from here, because I don't think we're gonna have enough speed to do that. So we're basically gonna have to go down this thing right here. The takeoff is actually, uh, we have to take off this way. Don't go straight. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't see anything. 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 And from here, that's actually when I start to see where I'm going to land. So it's actually like three, two meters before the takeoff. I'm going to put my bike up there. The running to take the speed for this jump is actually pretty, uh, pretty technical. Basically, release the brakes from the top, roll in, kind of dive into that a little bit, and then from here, release the brakes. I don't think we're gonna have to pedal. that. And I think he, uh, I think he goes. All good. I'm gonna do for this kind of stuff maybe one run in, maybe two. So I'm gonna do a run in, and then we, uh, we go. We start here, up, run down that. And here, I'm gonna slow down. Come here pretty slow. And then we check it. There we go. We're gonna have to be quick because the sun is actually popping behind the cloud. And I think we might have the sun in the face and that's not gonna be good. Okay? Okay, let's go. Yeah boy. Yeah boy! Drop it in. Woo! Woo yes boy! Actually, Landed like my front wheel just went a little bit on the rock at the bottom, like a tiny bit. Like you can really see my tire mark is like right there, like really close to it. And I think I even touched the rock a little bit, like I did a whole ride, maybe 10 centimeters. <laughs> So this is Disneyland here. All these trails here, Squamish. Uh, if you ride here, of course, grab your, your membership for, to, support, uh, to support trail building. And uh, it's amazing. Perfect playground. Love it. Winter, summer, spring, fall.
<laughs> we okay. popped from the top up there and then they the right here. So we're gonna do it again because again, if you do it once, you have to do it twice. And most of the time, it's the second try that's a little bit trickier because you know you have the pressure for the first try for the first time. You have a lot of pressure and then you make it happen. And then the second try, sometimes you're a little bit too relaxed and that's when shit happens. So the second try, actually like stay in your zone. Try to remember what you did. If you do one try, second try, perfect. Then the third try is gonna be uh, money. Wow. Oh mon dieu! There is the Remy, Remy line and the Barley line. All the way! And perfectly ready! <laughs> wow! Well, perfect, we're gonna show that to Raymond. <laughs> Raymond! <laughs> That's cool, I'm bummed! <laughs> wow! So, the normal way to do that, very simple. Different ways to approach it. There is actually some tire marks right here. We can see that the rock is actually kind of, there's no moss anymore here. And there is a way right here. This will be actually the most, like the trickiest way to do this kind of stuff. Because you can have to go straight down. And then again, compression and doesn't even go straight. You kind of have to go right after over there. The good way will be actually to use that as a wall ride. So you come here, you put your wheels front wheel probably right there. And then you use that as a wall ride. And to do this kind of stuff, again, it's just a matter of speed and where you look, you're look, going to look at things. From here, I probably don't have to pedal. I'm just going to let the gravity do its job and it's going to go. And from here, I'm going to release my brakes. Go on the brakes here and then tack. Look at the exit. Okay, so that's the bottom, bottom view of this thing. So we start from the tree up there and we release... Oh, there's a rider. I have to be careful. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> we were just talking about it. Dude. <laughs> there's the captain of Squamish. <laughs> How are you, baguette? Yeah. <laughs> How are you, sir? Bim. How are you? Good, you know, just doing my uh, little. Uh, so lap. you just, so you just, you do that just like that, eh? Yeah, that's my warm up. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. That's okay, a well, come, come. You're gonna. Uh, we're doing an into the nia. So how do you do when you when you do something like that? What's your process now that you are here? It's very easy. Go very fast, full gas or full propane, should I say? <laughs> and then close the eyes, pop really hard, and then and be very strong on the landing. Perfect. All good. Now what the process is just uh, taking your time analyzing the line, making sure you control every single parameter you can control. So like, you know, obviously you know that your bike is good to go. You're confident with your body and with your skills. And then you visualize the line. So yeah, same process, visualizing, analyzing, and then being very critical of every running I do. Yeah. Because I really take my time. I do a ton of run-ins. And when I jump that... Ah, so we're not the same on that. <laughs> I cannot just go. <laughs> when, we jump that, when I jump that, I know I got it. Okay. Like I have no single doubt that I'm going to land yeah. absolutely perfect. Yeah. If it's not the case, I just don't jump. I yeah, you, you work with feel. Like if you don't feel it, you just if walk away from it. If I don't feel it, it, I don't do it. Perfect. That's, that's very important, guys. If you do stuff that are a little bit sketchy, and sketchy is like different for everybody, but if you feel that you can't really do it, like if you have a little, uh, uh, just just walk away. Just yeah, and come back the next day <coughs> or in one week or in one month. It's like fear management, but it's important to acknowledge the risk. And so when I come to something like that, I've... I know every single, you know, piece of terrain that I have to be aware of. I know that there is a point of uh, non-return, which is way before the tree. I know that once I passed it, even if something is wrong, I have no choice to stop. So depending what's wrong, I'm better at jumping it than yeah. trying to stop. Uh, just so I can, uh, I can anticipate like any worst case scenario. Yeah. And then when I feel it, I go fight. But yeah, just the, the proof was here. The guy is just on his uh, cruisy ride and then tag. <laughs> Ballsy, ballsy Remy. Um, can I follow you into it? You can follow me, yeah. Cool. Donc, we are back with the GoPro. We stole uh, Raymond's GoPro. And I'm going to follow him down this thing. And we are rolling. Raymond bouncing around. Raymond, I'm going to let him go a little bit. And I'm going to catch up because I know that he doesn't. <laughs> so cool, boom. It was amazing. So I've known that gap and I knew I wanted to do it for two years. Yeah. But I didn't feel it for the first two years. So every time I went by and I was like bothered because I was like, I knew I got it. Yeah. But I just didn't feel it. When I saw you doing that video last summer, 
I went here like many times and then always I was checking the running and I was like, I know I can do this thing, but I never had it. It's, there's something tricky. We're gonna do this little droppy right here. Sniper kind of landing and this one is actually kind of also tricky because the landing is really short. So we are not on Wesso anymore. This is highway to L. You land here and then you have a corner, corner over there. So it's very, uh, very quick. You look at it, you can look at it also from the side. So you also have a good visual of how big this thing is. And it's only when you are here, like basically one meter before the takeoff, that you start to see the landing. So everything, your plan in your head has to be perfect before you drop this kind of stuff. Remy, you've done that before? I've never done it, no. I've well, never actually... Today. I'm only going to do it today. Well, you know, it's not every day you can get caught by uh, you and by this, so... <laughs> are you going to charge me or...? The landing is actually pretty far, yeah. You can already see that the landing is, is far, so you need quite a bit of speed. Raymond, I was talking a little bit about the routes and everything. It's true that this is kind of tricky. And I think here, we're going to be on the left side of this little route. It doesn't really matter, you can actually put all your wheels here. But that's also, Remy is very, very precise with everything. Every little detail count, and that's, you know, that that's his brain. <laughs> he has the brain of a, a uh, genius. No. <laughs> a genius, there's a lot of things <laughs> in his brain. <laughs> I go more with Lately, the... I've been watching Suits, uh, so I'm becoming a corporate lawyer. <laughs> he looks like a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Again, when we do this kind of stuff, you can do the run-in, you know, on, uh, on foot or on your bike. It's kind of the same. Or you do both. And if you're like me, you're probably going to do 10 run-ins walking, 10 run-ins with a bike, and then you'll end up jumping it. And again, a little rock here. And then you make a little mark. A mark that you can't really see, but yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a tip. Do you have Do you have some chalk? I'm gonna give you a, a I'm gonna give you a, a like a free ride tip. I never mark. Oh, you put a rock. a rock with a rock. I put a leaf, and then I walk again, and then I do a running because chances are that the mark you put with your rock, then you you are like actually I should have put it more oh, on the side or on the left. Have, oh, and you have like marks everywhere after. So that's why I move it. So you put like a little. Uh, yeah. So then you can. Oh, that's it. that. You know what? Always, sometimes when I ride Guanga or stuff like that, I see some little pile of rocks and little uh, sticks. That's oh, you. That wasn't me. Sticks? I put little sticks. Sticks, yeah. sticks I put that's sticks. him. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a stick guy. I'm just a stick guy. <laughs> so, I just put a rock and I'm gonna go, my, I'm gonna put my tire on the left side of this rock. If I go too much on the left, I'm gonna be on the moss, so it's not gonna work. I just have to be on the left side of this rock. And he goes. Let's do it. That's actually stressful. There's Raymond right there. He's watching me. <laughs> He's never done it. So, so I, can't, uh, I can't mess it up. We go. We take that corner very slow. And from here, I'm going to accelerate. Back. Accelerate. Back. So the roots are tricky. <laughs> well, he's not gonna need a lawyer because he didn't case it. The rules are slippery up there. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit sketch. And when I came back, I was talking about the roots, and now there's Remy up there. <laughs> he's kind of freaking out about the roots because Remy never done this jump. So we are gonna see his process. He's probably did already maybe five or six running just to check a little bit the best line. Because when I was when I started up there. I actually went straight on top of those roots, lost a bit of speed, eh? and I think that last second, I actually put one more pedal stroke to gain a little bit more speed and then to jump it. When I started, I actually started super slow around here, and I actually had to pedal on those this kind of stuff, and I lost some speed here. What about if we actually do the opposite, yeah, and I we actually faster. start with more speed? Eh? So we don't really have to think about those routes. We are pretty neutral position. We absorb everything and then boom. That's what I so it, the sprint is actually, the effort is going to be right here. Jump it. Okay. So I'm going to do it again, but now I'm going to try to accelerate a little bit faster here on the beginning of the, the run-in instead of pedaling over there. So I'm going to be actually more stable on the route. Let's see how, uh, how that goes. And we are... Pretty tricky, we can't really do that, huh? Huh? Yeah, I think I got it. If I don't have enough speed on the takeoff, I should be able to give a pop. Um, and it's as long as I'm like stable and confident coming on the takeoff, the speed actually doesn't really 
matter that much because I can adjust it depending on you know how I pop uh, on the takeoff and you could see Johan has a lot of speed and he kind of like let the bike go so even if I was going slightly slower than him I'll still be able to like pop yeah. and make it to the landing so I think I was actually carrying a little bit too much speed on this one did you land a bit deeper no same same spot but I went into the corner a little bit faster over there the secret for any big sun is the sneakers Eating very healthy food is good, but sometimes when you eat uh, junk food, it's kind of good too. <laughs> if I go too slow, I'll blame it on the sneakers. So Raymond's going to do a run-in. Ah, it kind of um, it starts in a different way as me. Well, it's more in the left. So look at that. I'm not an enduro racer, guys, but I got the line dialed. Why? Because... Well, that's the trail. That's not the trail. I've looked at my competition and he struggled to make the corner. So I'm like, well, I'm going to go straight. This is where I started. It's uphill. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be on the trail. I mean, if the coach gives you the wrong tip, like. <laughs> <laughs> but the coach stays. I want my money back, eh? Running? Running. Running 12. <laughs> Three, two, one, back it. I'm away. Easy. I'm scared to actually stop on that. Flat spin. I'm gonna do another running, because I like to. Another running? You gonna jump it or? No, running. Okay, another running. Okay, and now I do another run in without the bike. And I do another one again, just because I'm completely OCD. I visualize I know the tree is there. So I need to be here, looking ahead, being like super centered on the bike. Once I got here, I'm no longer stressed because I can see the landing. Yeah. So you have one minute, one, uh, a tenth of a second to release the stress. Another run in. <laughs> <laughs> So when Another I, one? When I haven't, no, when I haven't done something, I do like, I don't know why, but I forget. So I just did a run in. But you forgot. I just don't remember it. So I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But I have, I have, I have memory issues. So, so I literally look at it. And but then I, you don't think about it. Like, and when I turn, no, but that's what happened. When I turn back, I'm like, I just forget what so I So basically, Remy, what he's telling us is he is a little bit like a redfish and like his memory is like 10 seconds. I kinda, right there. But you know, like it's actually true. Like sometimes he tells me stuff on the phone, and then one day later he says exactly the same thing. And I'm like, Remy, you told me that like three times. Oh, so already. you know, you know what? Happened? No, no, go now, hey, fucking hey, hell! Hey, you know what happens? That's kind of stuff. like I literally forget because I guess I'm like stressed and I forget. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna empty my brain, and I'm just gonna let the muscle memory do the job. The muscle memory. <laughs> Speed over there, tac tac. Yeah. Nice one. There we go. And he's gone. Bye, Raymond! <laughs> now I come back. Amazing. Very chill. Boop. Down. Corner. Was he good? Like trying to look good, I've been good at this speed, but for my riding style, because we jump differently, I actually, I feel like looking at you almost like made me overthink stuff. When I feel like myself, I'll actually go slower and pop. Yeah. So I've seen you going fast and squash it. Yeah. Which I can do, but the first time I do something, I usually go slow. And then you uh, because I feel like I'm. It's easier for me last minute to push the bike far okay. away than to squash it, yeah, yeah. especially because this jump does like kind of a nose, and you're never gonna touch a rear wheel on it. No, but it's still in the back of my mind. Totally. So because if you touch the rear wheel there, know. you're not even making. And that, that's that's a very good point that that Remy brought up here, is that we all have different riding style, and then sometimes when I see Remy do stuff the way he does, you know, like little steers and everything and the way he managed, you know, like takeoff and landing and stuff like that. For me, it's always like, holy shit, you know, you have to do all this kind of stuff to, uh, but then my riding style is actually more like kind of straightforward, less easy, more speed. So it's always really important to, when you see someone doing something, don't like put yourself in like, oh, he did it this way, I have to do it this way. Just be yourself, do stuff the way you want to do them. Very important. Perfect. That was way better. We're gonna do a train. Remy's gonna go first. I'm gonna follow him with the GoPro. Raymond, le bouffeur de petit téton. Yeah. Bye Raymond. <laughs> Goodbye Johan. Raymond. I'm on my way. To... <laughs> I'm on my Finish way. To... Right. Thank you for stopping. That was pretty cool. And uh, we see you around. If, uh, by the way, if you guys really like this kind of exchange that we have with Raymond, if you Put like it, 17 comments, subscribe.
12 times. And we can do more because uh, we live uh, we live around each other and uh, we can do more. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, see how much it pays. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye everyone. Next beat. Tricky part now, there's no, no more jumps, no more gaps, but we are entering some really steeper slab. It's wet today, um, way steeper than what we did earlier. Two different ways to, uh, to kind of approach that. This one has some roots over there and the exit is actually pretty tricky. And this one is actually super steep and there is, we can see there's like a little ladder uh, kind of bridge in the middle of it. Today it's wet and the wood is actually pretty, it's getting dry. So there won't be any, uh, any issue. Run out, we're gonna have to be on the brakes, pretty so in control. We're gonna turn right and the trail kind of goes up a little bit over there, okay? Well, Raymond is uh, back for a second lap. <laughs> <laughs> see, he's testing the traction a little bit and slow at the bottom, tac, and he's gone. Bye Raymond! Ciao boy! Thank you for the demo. It's either on the right or left. Raymond likes to do very tricky stuff. <laughs> like, he put his wheel like right in the crack here. It's funny. It's beautiful today. Let's do this lab. And I'm really gonna show you, like first of all, we need to manage. So up camber rock, we go here. That's a good way to actually check the traction. We make our way up here. I'm gonna go close to Alex. I'm gonna position myself. See again? I'm very centered on my bike. I'm not in the I'm not in the back, not in the front, very balanced, right in the middle of my bike. If I need more traction, I'm pushing down my heels down and I'm putting more pressure on the tire. I can go lower. I get right here. That's okay. Up and I can slow down and even come to a stop here if I'm centered. And now I'm gonna release. Tack. And then Mike make blah, 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 blah. Little flat section here. <laughs> Can pedal. Tack, tack. Boop, boop, boop. Little climb. We get here. Tack, tack, tack. What I have in my head here. This is kind of funny. Because I have, I have something in my, uh, in my head. I'm, I see myself kind of coming here, grabbing my front brake, pulling my bike like that. And I'm going to release my front brake. But I'm going to up a little bit my front wheel. And I'm going to try land right there, like that. That would be beautiful. First try, one try. So I'm coming up here. I'm pedaling, grabbing the front brake. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that worked, that worked perfectly, Alex. Perfectly. Perfect. So that's the way you have to do it. As soon as I landed, I actually probably put like couple pedal strokes because what I spotted here, this is a bit of a tricky, uh, a tricky little thing. Pop, whap, and then you land on the outside and then you make your corner. Start, pedalier appeal. I'm gonna grab my front brake, tack, do that again, it worked, pedal. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> This part, we can actually open the, open the gas a little bit and uh, let go. So we're going to do that. It's going to be fun. Let's go. Do that little jump again. Okay. <laughs> Amazing really strong upper body so you can take the impact in the face and you don't go like like a wobbly sausage on your end of bar and rah, we don't want to do that no bueno and then we're gonna start right there and we're just gonna manage this little and we are here this one, the first part is actually pretty chill, but the second part, be careful, the rock is a little bit different, I don't know why, and it's very slippery. Front wheel! Oh my god. <laughs> Front wheel drift! <laughs> Friday. <laughs> 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 
Oh, 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 the dog. The, do uh, the dog is very controlled. The dog is in control. So we go. So we don't have to go too fast for the for the end. Little skinny. Up. Little pop. I'm gonna set myself here. In between the trees. Up. Here. In between the trees. Up. And there we go. Chill. So now I need to climb back up to do the section again because Alex is going to film me. But I'm thinking that there is no way to climb that. So I'm going to try. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> okay, we try. Ah! <laughs> oh no, wait, don't move. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Start here. Open that. Tack, tack, tack. Open that. Tack, tack. Back. Back. Wow, bah, bah, bah. And that's it! Here we go, guys! We are at the bottom of Weso. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, pretty pumped that we met uh, with Raymond. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna do a top to bottom lap because uh, my voice, I, I spoke too much today. My voice is going away. Um, I'm gonna do a top, a top to bottom lap because a bunch of people asked me to do that at the end of each video, so I'm gonna do that now. And uh, see you probably really soon. Bye bye. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. We are at the top of Weso. We're gonna do a lap top to bottom, uh, taking all the lines that we, uh, we did during the, during the video. There might be a little section down there where I'm gonna have to uh, kind of wing it a little bit to do uh, to do the drop the remy drop otherwise it's not gonna work i won't have enough speed and uh and i think we are um, we are good to go let's try to connect all the all the dots and just have fun so not too fast just uh, just good speed and we uh we cruise and here we go starting here on the pedals i make sure at the start that i had a good a good gear, I'm gonna go in here, stack, up, I'm gonna look up, whoop, that goes, perfect, this is the part that I was kind of telling you guys, this one right here, up, we are right here, whoop, I did the one right there, up, we're gonna climb this part here, go on the edge of this little thing, took, here, Little nose turn. We kind of go slow here, we don't have to go too fast. Here, I accelerate. Up. Corner. Whoop. Pedal up that. That's a tricky climb. Whoop. It went. I'm gonna put my sleeve back up. Because I don't like to ride with my sleeve. Down, a little nose pivot here. Up. On the pedals, open the corner. Yeah, release the brakes. Whoop. Whoop. Here, compression. Well, go here. Do the jump. Whoop. Open this one. Be careful here, not too fast. With the bird here. Up. Corner on one. You just in here. Up. We're gonna open this corner. Right here. And there we go. Bottom of Weso, guys. You! Amaze ball. Ah. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed this new format of Into the Nia with Alex, filmmaker. It's pretty. Uh, Pretty cool, I'm super pumped to do that again. Gonna try to drop, as I said earlier, one episode, one episode per month, and I, I love it. So I will see you again really soon. Thank you so much, see you soon guys, thank you.